Hi, welcome to another exciting episode on the Rams Family Farm channel today. It is day seven of the Every Bit Count Challenge. Um, yesterday, day six, I started garlic scapes and I started uh, chicory roots. Um, I had to roast them. Now that they're roasted and now that the garlic scapes are almost dehydrated, I will be able to put them aside. They will be preserved. I also have to um, clean up the blueberries I just picked. I will clean them up, freeze them in vacuum seal. I will do that in a minute. One of the things I did, um, I well, I found winter greens. Now this is something that I've been harvesting for the first time. I saw them last year. I asked a couple of questions about them. I did not harvest them last year. I was told to check for a few specific things, which I did. If it has a peppermint smell, it is wintergreen. So I don't have much in terms of weight, but it's still something that I will dehydrate and turn into tea. I will have tea with the chicory roots and there it is I should have a few things today enough to do So the chicory roots were roasted. This is what they look like. After I put them in the blender, they're a little powder like this. And then I put them in a little pouch and I have tea bags with chicory roots, which is said to be able like to replace coffee. I don't find that it tastes like coffee, but I think it was roasted perfectly and it smells awesome. So I'm pretty sure this is about my seven or eighth bag and I make small sizes like this so when the kids are hungry or they want to make smoothies have a few ones here and there. I got zucchini, strawberries from the summer. Uh, this is one of the turkey from last year we had left. We cooked it and throw some tiny bags like this and we can take them out for sandwiches. I'm pretty sure this is all for day six. I still have the uh, wintergreen dehydrating there for tea. And I still have the garlic scapes. Um, the thing with the garlic scapes, you have to kind of split them in half. Um, I don't know, it's hard to explain. <coughs> because if you don't, this is what happens. They stay like this. So I'm gonna have to cut this little piece. And then once it's done, it becomes stiff like this and there's a few pieces. Once it dries out, you can see them. The ones that are left, cut them in half. It kind of splits open pretty easily, actually. So you just take them like this. Take your nails, like right in the middle. And open it up like this. So that way, you give a chance for all the uh, humidity in there to get out. It's been raining non-stop. Nothing better to do than just preserve food, right? I went to the garden and harvested a bunch of zucchinis and squash. So I'm gonna take some time and preserve a few ones, I guess. I will freeze some, um, vacuum seal them. I also have fruits. And because I didn't have enough, <laughs> these are a few has caps, 
and uh, cranberries. And these ones here are gooseberries. So I made a little bag like this, split it in half. It's gonna give me something to, to put in the smoothie at some point this winter. I have some raspberries in there as well. And some, some more blueberries, some tomatoes. I think we're on August 9th, so this is day nine. Uh, I didn't film yesterday. I went out uh, for a foraging class, but I did. Um, I finished this. I just didn't have time to put it away yet. I still have some uh, wintergreen in there. Um, dehydrating. I try to do at least one zucchini a day. That's pretty much it for now. And yeah, I'm shirtless. It's not because I want to show off my body. Trust me. This morning is day 12 of the challenge. Thing is, all I've been doing is free zucchini. And it's not something I really want to show you. <laughs> By now it's pretty, pretty straightforward. My garden is not producing anything else than zucchini and squash and a few beans. I mean, I have like a handful of beans every second or every third day. So until the tomatoes are ready, until, you know, stuff starts producing more, I don't really have anything to show for except um, I have zucchinis and squash and beans. I'm gonna have some herbs, so a few things to dehydrate, but this morning what I wanna do is uh, I will slice up zucchini and instead of freezing it, put it on the dehydrator and uh, make some powder with it so that we can add it to soup or you know, make some sort of flour with it later. August 13, so you've seen my video from day one to five, this is still in video 6 to whatever. I'm probably going to stop at 15. I am pretty much done with my dehydrated zucchini. It feels like almost papery, kind of. Um, I will put them in a mason jar. And that uh, should be good on shelf for, uh, well, a few months for sure. Uh, it doesn't really say where I... Uh, where I search, it says several months, so we'll we'll see. Uh, this morning I did two chickens I had left to process. Um, they're too big to put in sealable bags, so I had to put them in uh, regular plastic Ziploc. So it was that one was seven pounds. And I have another one downstairs that was eight pounds. I put them in the freezer. Uh, do I have anything new here? I have a few more beans. Uh, these are gooseberries. I think you've seen one, but this is the one you haven't seen yet. Gooseberries. So I'm really busy. I played softball yesterday. The season is over. I should have more time to do some more processing, uh, canning, my pressure canner is back there. I will be doing uh, hopefully some soup and like chicken soup and vegetable soup in the future, stew. And yeah, I'll be canning some beans. I should have enough to start canning a little bit. Although I wanna have a lot more. I don't wanna just start canning for like two mason jars. I wanna can like a dozen at a time and I still need the weather to cooperate because it's been raining nonstop here. Uh, besides yesterday, I think yesterday was good, but beside yesterday, I think the last sun, sunny day we had was like three weeks ago and uh, it doesn't look really good for, uh, for the next few days either. I think um, in a week from now should be the next uh, non-rainy day and I wanna go uh, harvest some blueberries. Um, so yeah, I am fixing up my pantry. I have some powdered stevia, uh, wintergreen 
dehydrated in tea. And uh, I have garlic powder here that I made with uh, garlic scapes that I had. So I love these little mason jars. And Lynn from Bucket List Homestead told me there were some at Dollar Store, Dollarama, for a lot cheaper than what you can find them in the store. So I will definitely be going to take a look. And uh, yeah, I can dehydrate stuff and make some tea. So I'll be doing it with um, lemon balm, mandarin balm, mint. I have a bunch of those stuff. Um, and I have some mandarin balm somewhere. Um, just just can't find it now. I don't know where, where it went. It could be here somewhere, I don't know. But anyway, this is what I've been doing for the past couple of days. Dehydrating the zucchini, Plus I still have some more squash and um, gray zucchinis that I slice up. And as you can see, I have some behind me still. Um, it's been three or four per day for the past couple of weeks. So the freezer is getting full. So a uh, dehydrator is a good plan B option for those vegetables. Day 14. I still have the two dehydrators going. I have some more frozen zucchinis. The fun thing tonight, my son helped me. We spent some time together. It was amazing. I went to Dollar Store, Dollarama for the Americans. It's similar to Dollar Tree. But this little spice wrap with those little uh, vials. So, I ended up putting my garlic in there. I am going to keep those little tiny mason jars for my tea. I purchased some more, as you can see. I also have a few of these uh, little jars that I can put some tea. Um, you know, it's gonna stay. properly sealed um, this is what it looks like this is what it looks like when it's dehydrated uh, it should hold stay good for about well it should be gone by six months but it says uh, several months airtight it'll last forever August 15 I harvested about uh, well actually five zucchini um, eight squash rutabaga and about a pound and a half of beans I have some here and I have some here like to double check to make sure the air is out this is just temporary as soon as I have enough and as soon as I have time I will be pressure canning them so I'm done with the squash from yesterday I purchased those big jars specifically for that they're hair tight so this should last quite a while in there so you know every little bit counts so thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to share, like, subscribe if it's not already done. And I will see you next time. Tomorrow I will start another stretch of Every Big Count Challenge.